Let's play a Pokemon Sword. We just beat Hop and Marnie in the semifinals. We we're supposed to go to dinner with Leon, but then he just didn't show up. We were waiting for a couple of hours. Turns out, Pierre saw him heading towards Rose Tower, and when we tried to go to Rose Tower, uh, Miss Ar Arlena, is it? Arlena? She stopped us and said, no, nobody's going in there to talk to Rose right now. And then she took the security card to get on the train and just kind of made one of her grunts went off it and chased him down. And we ended up, uh, well, getting to the tower anyways, after we were able to get past them. And, uh, yeah. Hop it, Piers, Marina. Sorry, Marina. Marnie, we're all up here, and we're just about to head in, I guess. Let's talk to Hop for a minute there. Let's go, Joel. Yeah, let's go. What's going to await us in this tower? Okay, interesting. Whoa, it's huge in here. What in the world is this place meant to be? I like the flowers underneath the uh, glass case. That's really cool. Listen, Joel. I don't know if you knew this already, but I heard Rose Tower was built on a power spot. Yeah. If you know what I'm saying, when we get up to the roof, we might have a bit of space so we can Dynamax our Pokemon. Interesting. Well, that's all well and good, but unless a certain... So, but less certain is whether or not we this lift will get us to the top. Rose Tower has like a hundred floors, right? Yeah, I guess he's right. You'll be leaving right now, so there's not no more, yeah. There's no need to worry about the lift. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! All staff members are ordered to help remove the intruders from the premise at once. See? And this Orlina says that so. Then this looks like it will be the end of the line for you kids. If I get rid of the intruders, I'll probably get a big bonus. You're challenged by Marco Cosmos Elijah. Sorry, Eli. And he says that another Durant. I mean, it's Rose Tower, says Banana. Roses in the floor seem fitting. Yeah, that actually really is nice there. Oh, my Pokemon is still a little weak there. Well, you know you can Iron Head the Durants. And it's also going to Iron Head us back. It's a sheer force of headbutting. It has two blades on the fixed on the front of its head and mine are on the top of my head, so that, I feel like it's in our, Durant's are in a better spot than mine are, but we'll just have Mean Kitty headbutt it. Looks like it's actually outspeeding us too, which is crazy. I don't think we'll live another attack, but uh, we'll go for it. Mean Kitty holds on by 4 HP. Awesome. But he flinched. Yikes. Alright, oh, this is a good time to probably heal up our Pokemon there. Mid-battle. There we go. We'll use this Hyper Potion. That'll give us plenty of health. There we go, my little Steel Wool Kitty. It's gonna use Crunch. Dark-type move. It's good at making things flinch, but... We didn't have any attacks that turn, so nothing to worry about flinching on. Let's Iron Head one more time. It's gonna hit us with an Iron Head first, and we'll hit it with an Iron Head to knock it out. Then we won't have to worry about this pesky front in our way. Get out of here! You're fired! I'm gonna be one of the new professors, me and Sonya. We're gonna make sure all you guys never work in this, this region ever again. We're gonna kick you out of the region. We'll see. Get out of our way, bud. Ugh, having to give up my pocket money. Losing means I'm back in the red. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Thanks for the uh, nine thousand dollars. I get on my way. M my bonus. My dream of finally affording a house of my own. Okay, listen, man. We we need to speak with Chairman Rose. Just tell us where he is. Get on the lift. The chairman's at the top of the building. All right. We need. Uh, sorry, we really need. Sorry, we're really near to Chairman Rose now. Yeah, what the hell is all? What the heck's happening here, man? Hold on, Lee, we're coming. Come on, Joel, let's get us in there. Here, man, I'll give you back your $9,000 for telling us. There you go, thanks. Okay, interesting. Rose, neat. Wow, there's silver elevators here. Interesting. This is taking ages. Yeah, this is a weird elevator shaft. I feel like they could have just had one door and a bunch of hallways. It would have saved on a lot of, uh, a lot of doorways. What? I don't think we reached the roof yet. Why do we stop? Oh. 
You're in the two gym challenges, aren't you? Thank you for taking part in Galar's League Challenge. But I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to interfere in our work. We'll drive you out of the... to protect as many subsidiary companies house in the Rose Tower. Behold, our glorious high-tech elevators of the Rose Tower were able to withstand Pokemon battles. They are constructed by a subsidiary Marco Cosmos Construction brand. Neat. That's cool. It's good to know we won't fall. You are challenged by Marco Cosmos Jane and Marco Cosmos Matro. What kind of hand move is that? More Steel type Pokemon. I'm very happy that the enemy team in this game is using Steel Pokemon. That is nice. Hmm. But unfortunately, you know, most of our Pokemon aren't fit for taking on these Pokemon right now. Well, not that they're not fit, it's just not very effective, it seems. There you go, we're just gonna body slam that Bronzong, we're gonna pancake it. I'm surprised to see it could actually be squished like that. Just gonna headbutt it. Not very effective, current uses dig. It can actually go underground, it can actually move underground. It's it's quite bulky, that's all I'm saying. Extra sensory. Wobble gets hit with that. Uh, let's see. You know, let's switch Pokemon. I don't think we're in the, the, the good here. Uh, vibe check. Cars is actually out down for the counter at the moment. I didn't check that out. You know what? Elkard. Let's go, Elkard. Mean Kitty goes away. And out comes Elkard. My boy. Wobble's gonna go for another little slam. Wait, I just realized I'm a fairy type. Well, at least that dig does nothing to me. Bronze is gonna use safeguard on their team and make it so that it can't be hit by special conditions, I believe. Or is that wide guard? I'm not 100% sure. Regardless, we're gonna full surrender on Bronze Song and just knock it out of commission. Unless that body slime's gonna go first. No, it's smart enough to go for the Kurant. Sorry, Kurant. Kurfin. Fan. Kufan? Yeah. It's a new Pokemon, maybe. Let's see. Also, that Raj Pokemon, Copperaja. Iron Head. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Actually, I'm very tired. I just realized that's probably not the best to come in, but. We should be able to get it. False Surrender. Well, we missed, but it should still hit. Not very effective. False Surrender. There you go. Bye bye, Elephant. See you later, Snuffleupagus. A little bit of XP. And we defeat these two grunts. We're creating an extraordinary lift that's safe even for a Pokemon battle. Nobody can beat Marco Cosmo Construction when it comes to our dedicated work. Ooh, uh, yeah, he's got 20 grand off that one. That's a lot. We can buy a lot of cool stuff with that. If we've been defeated, I have little choice but re uh, respectively retreat. Yet I must ask you once more, please do not interfere with Chairman Rose's work. The elevator in Rose Towers are constructed so only one floor ascends. Oh, sorry, ascends to one floor. But that presence, that presents some danger. Thus the presence of these walls and constructed of light. You can thank Marco Cosmo Constructions for providing the wonderful technology as well. Yeah, we get it. You have a nice elevator. Wait. So the folks working on this tower can't stop the elevator? Sorry. The folks... Yeah, I'm getting tongue tied. That's what you do when you need a chocolate bar in your break. Cut that. Wait. So the folks working on the tower can stop the elevator from any time outside. They're just trying to get to the top floor. We're just trying to get to the top already. Our teams have been working themselves ragged for us. Let them heal. Let's heal them all up. There you go. Good stuff. Yeah, he's getting really impatient. But thanks for the heals, man. Appreciate that. Oh. Rose Tower is almost a thousand feet tall. You're about 500 feet above the ground. 
From the MC Insurance, do you think you have a life insurance policy? Oh, wow. Man, this is all about advertising. Kevin and Carla. We'd like to battle. Oh, wow, nice. Again, more metal Pokemon. That's awesome to see all these metal Pokemon. Okay, Mean Kitty. It's nice to have Mean Kitty out front too because he has the amulet coin. Or sorry, she has the amulet coin. Which will double our money from this battle. But we're going to switch Pokemon. Definitely not out card this time. I think we're going to go for Big Boss. I feel like Big Boss has a chance to pack some real damage here. To be fair, maybe switching out wasn't the best because I realized that more while there is also Fairy type. So we're gonna fair our Steel type's moves are unpenetrable, unavoidable, so I'm just going to hit hard. Ooh, nice, that's a cool animation. Okay, clangs to speed rose, and the attack rose as well. Moali uses fake tears. Wow, that was creepy looking. I, I don't think I'd feel scared, or sorry, not scared, but like... I wouldn't fall for the fake tears of the giant gaping note. Your grind, oh no. Oh, it's gonna hit another time. Okay, we're in a body slam. For the mobile. Shout out to Mr. Pokemon in our Discord event. Drill runs can be super effective against this metal Pokemon. There we go, our new doing a really good job here. Good job, boss. An iron head's incoming. Does not enough damage to even put us in the yellow, so that's great. Okay, so we're just gonna go for another drill run. I really like this move there. I think it's neat. Surprised that the dope was I was speeding everything else in the scene here. Oh, and it gets a paralyzed off. Nice little shock off. Stun, I knew the move. There you go. Good job, boss. Super effective. You know, I never really realized that uh, ground-type moves were really good against steel-type moves before. Okay, you guys can go away now. Nobody can eat the MC insurance when it comes to our dedicated line of work. This building's well over 500 feet tall. It's as tall as 100 munchok staying on top of each other. I guess that's a type of measurement. But if you work in a construction company, I feel like you should probably use meter sticks or something, or heck, maybe a laser measurement device. I'm sure you must have something like that. I'm quite terrified of heights, actually. Unfortunately, our insurance doesn't pay out for being defeated in Pokemon battles. Yeah, get out of here. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, I appreciate it too, bud. What are you trying to say, Hop? I see you're like... I guess he's getting annoyed from the ride. Plus, I mean, rescuing the brother's kind of weird. Let's see. You're nearly at the top, but you're not meant to be... Sorry, you will Yeah, I can't see because my work doesn't annoy. But you're not me meeting the chairman. I got no fear of heights. I work high in the skies doing my job for the loft in Marco Cosmos Air. Aiden and Justin. Adeline? Adeline and Justin. A Stunfish and a Steelix. Hmm. Again, our Pokemon are not really suited for this, so we'll go for boss. As long as they won't don't double attack on boss there, he should be just fine. Not to mention we got other Pokemon. Seems like Hop's doing a good job healing up. I love how you just Pancake to Steelix, that seems impossible. Okay, Muddy Water. Ooh, that actually was a nice attack. Doubles accuracy, sorry. Is that accuracy one down? Yeah. We're gonna heal up a bit with our leftovers, because you know, always chews on some sand in his mouth there. A little sand ratto, it looks like a little rat in the home of them. Let's see. We're gonna use Drill Run on the Steelix. 
Let's see who's better. My snake or versus ghost snack. Oh, your snake's pretty strong. But my strong is my snake is stronger. My snake is stronger. My snack. My snack is snack. Steelix is a slam on snack a snack. Sneak a snack, sneak a snack. There we go. Oh, uh, I don't want to go for that. There we go. Let's drop a rock on that Steelix. Don't hit a bunch of bear trap, that seems like a very bad thing to do. I use Sand Tomb. There you go. Spin that Steelix right into the wall of this tower. It's not gonna break the elevator, but it is definitely gonna scratch up the paint job. I mean, Kitty gets a lot of XP off that one. Okay, another Muddy Water incoming. Hang on, dude! Snack. And we're just gonna drop a, a rock wall on the sun bitch. We don't want to actually have boss touch it physically because it's a bear trap after all. We're gonna just get a boulder on it. Oh no, sorry, that's the max Dynamax version. Regardless, we're not making actual contact with that uh, sunfish there. Just need his muddy water. Big boss hangs in there. Good stuff, boss. Again, I'm really worried. I don't want boss to actually touch that sun stunfish there because I don't want to get injured. So we'll just be drop some more sand on it. And it avoided the attack of Devil there. There you go. Sandblast it. I wonder if you had a bear trap sitting open like that with his little sensor. You took a sand spray gun, like a sander that sprays sand to like take off paint and stuff, and you hit that towards that little sensor. Could the pressure be enough to pop off the bear trap? I don't know. There you go, Mean Kitty and Good Grief. Go up a level. Good stuff. Uh, no, you're not allowed to evolve them. I'm just telling you right now. Nobody can beat Marco Cosmo Air. When it comes to our dedication and to our work. You ever get that floaty feeling when the lift is going up? There you go, nice sell 20 grand almost. I'm sorry, Grief, okay? You're just really defensive as a an unevolved Pokemon, so you gotta stop doing that. I should probably do it this way. <laughs> Don't you presume that you'll meet the chairman? You're not going to the same level as such a great man. You must know that in such a high-rise stakes such as this one, the higher you go up, the more important the people you'll find working here. The chairman rose at the top of the building. Not just one of this tower, but all of Galar. Looks like though we're nearly at the top, mate. Let's look sharp. We'll do this. So would that trick work on a Pikachu as well? What trick, I wonder? A sandblaster? Were you gonna take a sandblaster to a Pikachu? Why would you do such a thing? Oh! This freaking Lee. Welcome to Chairman Rose's executive space. Nearly a thousand feet above the earth. Well, that's actually pretty cool. I actually like that a lot. So. You got it through all the special staff that I had ordered to stop you. That would be expected nonetheless a trainer is handpicked by the champion lean on himself. But I'm afraid this is the time for you to go home now. Because... I will not allow anyone to disturb the great Chairman Rose! Ugh. You shall be the first, Professor Joel. I'll beat you to pieces, and then Chairman Rose will have no one to battle, and thus lose heart. In that state, he'll listen to anything the Chairman says. Uh, I'm gonna battle both him, you, and Leon, and win against you all, okay? You're challenged by Marco Cosmos or Lena. 
There you go. I'm gonna use a frost blast. Awesome, we're gonna headbutt it. There you go, Dynamax bracelet online. That's cool, we can Dynamax up here because this is a power spot. We're gonna headbutt it though. Hmm. Ooh, what is this? Iron Head. There you go. Knockout. Bye bye, Frost Last. Oh, this is so rough. Oh my, how cheeky is it to do such rude things? Get some XP, though. Thanks for the XP. Okay, here comes the Lazzle Dazzle. Do you like to switch your Pokemon? Yeah. Um, you know what? Grief is good. It'd probably be a good one for this one. There you go. We'll blast it with water. Poisonous gases. If that breaks a window, that might escape to the people down below, man. Watch out. We're in a whirlpool, yeah. That mop bucket over there in the corner, we're just gonna pull that water out of that and trap you in a vortex of mop water. There you go. No, I try to go for Will O Wisp, but I know Burn won't actually burn a fire type Pokemon, so. Ooh, Venus Shock. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Nope, I stand corrected that there's nothing practically. Venus Shock is disabled. I'm gonna hit them with another whirlpool. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Let's see if we can get a power staff off. Okay. We require a battery recharging. Incinerate? That's gonna do nothing. There we go, watch us get half our health back. Their attack stack goes down. And our health stack goes way up. Poison ticks, but we get more from the poison tick than they actually do from physical contact. Slaz Dazzle gets spun out. Okay. There you go. Big boss goes up a level. Of course, Slaz is such a good Pokemon to us. We're gonna use Nolik. Okay, let's see. You know what? We're just gonna randomize this. Close my eyes. Got one. Cars it is. There you go. Well, type advantage. We're gonna poke it with a stick. Okay, here comes Nolik. AKA a Loch Ness Monster. Or a Loch Ness Beauty, I should say. I'm gonna poke it with a stick. Boop. He's gonna use Aqua Ring. Ah, get my hair wet. He's the only, he can only use essential tree oils twice a day, okay, max. He doesn't want to use too much more or else, you know, spat on his hair. I'll poke it with a stick one more time for the meme's sake. There you go, ever since Grookey, the Grookey gang, I got my little Grookey pin on. As his first move he learned, he learned to always carry a drumstick and go poke, poke, poke. Oh, crowd goes up a little, good stuff. A Serena. A Serena, that's nice. I was actually grading some of those today. There you go. Right here. Going through the guy's collection and grading it. I guess it's a little random put in there, but I've seen many of those Pokemon today. Oh wait, now we are up against this Pokemon. Uh, grass versus grass is not good. I guess we'll go for a drum beating, or one of our signature moves there. I mean, most of my moves are pretty signature here. Uh, I did something. Nothing too crazy. Speed fell. Okay, good stuff. Aerobatics. I actually did quite a bit. Jump, she's Bayonetta. You know what? Let's go for Woodhammer. It's gonna injure us a bit, but it's gonna get some heavy damage off. There you go, let's crush her, her hair. 
Who's there looks better though? Cars or casinos there? Ooh, holds on with one HP. Cars, let's go for a frenzy plant. There you go. Awesome. Okay. There's quite a bit of XP off that one. Okay, Arlene's gonna use some trash bedore. Trash boss, what are we gonna use? Hmm. You know what? I feel like Big Boss is the uh, the answer to this. Because what's more authentic than the trash boss is the big boss. This is my last Pokemon? Seriously? Arlene has gotta finish this. Now comes Garbodor. There you go, trash boss. I know what's happening here. And we're not gonna let it happen. We're gonna stomp it into the ground with our last Pokemon. We're gonna have to keep it all together and put it back in the trash bag. Come on, big boss. Oh, we got a new Polar. Jumper, welcome to the party. Oh, I missed that little dialogue there. Yep, here comes the giant trash boss. Yep, ooh, that is cool. Oh, there's like a whole bunch of toys sticking out of it. That is awesome looking. And it looks like there's almost like flies, those little pink particles flying around it. Okay, let's sandblast it. Ah, shoot! Wow. I was not expecting that to one shot. Now it's a burning pile of trash. Gross, yuck. Okay, grief is good goes up a level and so does cars. Thanks, big boss. There you go. Beyblade spins out. What a good boss. And Orlina got battle uh sorry, got beat. Yep. Yeah. Kick her butt, definitely. Look how <sighs> I wasn't able to win. Marlena, a really hopeless woman. Man, this woman needs to get some therapy or something. She, she's like too OP. She's all screamy mad. She's really about... Nope, stop it. You're stronger as is. You don't need to evolve. Just like Ash's Pikachu. Yeah, she needs some therapy, and she needs to be like, I don't know, maybe she can handle it. Maybe she likes this high-stress role. I'm just saying, like, I wouldn't want to do her job, but she really does like this chairman, guys, so that's kind of weird. <sighs> this is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made it this far would be no pushover. Under no circumstances, I would have tried to delay you any further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do as you wish. There's nothing to be done now. What? What do you mean by that? Typical Professor Joel and you, Berserker, were unstoppable. Well, boss did a lot of the work, really. See you later, old cranky lady. Everything I did, I did to further the chairman's own goals. GG, nobody cares! <laughs> Walks by. Oh. Leon, we discussed this a hundred times already. And you still fail to understand what's at stake. You, who's supposed to be our champion. I think I understand well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from affecting any of us. What difference is one day going to make? My duty as champion isn't this. This is madness. To carry out this champion... Sorry, to carry this out... A champion match. Galler wants what I want. And we've been looking forward to this for so long. No, you don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Look around us, Leon. Look at the Galler region stretching out before us. And know that the energy required to keep up this brilliant, glittering world alive will be exhausted in millennia from now. The people of Galar today will no longer have even existed. Sir, will no longer even exist. What Galler wants today hardly matters. If 
future is more important than just one day. We must act as quickly as possible as we can. We must take an action in the order to avert the tragedy so all that I can look forward to in the, is a better future. In a thousand years? Fine, look, I, I understand your concerns, Chairman. And I'll, I'll give you my word. We'll keep helping your plans just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. Oh. What is this? Lee, you didn't show up for dinner. We got worried something happened. Piers and Mar Marnie and all those Team Yellow oddballs, they helped us all get up here. Oh, I must apologize, Hop. We made you worry at all. There are times when the adults just can't seem to be... Just can't just seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of this, Hop, Professor Joel. Let's head back to the hotel and we'll all grab dinner together, yeah? It's on me. You can order whatever you fancy. What the heck's going on here, guys? If you excuse us, Chairman. I'm sorry, if you excuse us, Chairman. And I do hope you will watch tomorrow's match. And be sure it's one for the history books. What is that about? One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We... No. I'm going to change the course of history. Meanwhile, back to the hotel, all the donuts and uh, things we can want. There's some sausage and eggs and some uh, beans and some toast. A big old breakfast for dinner. This is it. Did you get enough sleep? Your team is the one battling, but I, I got butterfreeze in my stomach since I woke up. I mean, yeah, I guess so. Challenger Professor Joel? The finals will be start starting shortly. I'm here to escort you to the stadium. And what's this? Didn't you learn your lesson yesterday? If you need any helping of Hop and his trusty Inteleon, I'll be happy to give you one. N no, wait, please. I'm not like those other league staff. I'm the good one, if I must say so myself. I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Orlino can be a little extreme in her desire to assist the chairman with his goals, so I'm afraid. It seems that she was cultivating her own group of league staff in secret to deploy it for her well. Things that, like that debacle last night. But there's no need to worry about today's staff. All of us are here for you for the right reasons. There you go. Finally, some good help around here. Well, that's what she says. I guess we'll trust her then, eh? Let's go. Can't wait another minute. Yeah. Would you like me to show you the way to the Windon Stadium? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, I get the car around, I guess. So, let's go. Let's be on our way. Man, I'm so hungry. I had to wait so long for Leon to come to dinner. Oh, hey. Oh, hello, Hop. Joel. And of course, he runs off like usual. Boy can't sit still, he always hop into it. This is it. We're here at Windon Stadium. The greatest stadium in all of Galar. We're gonna show everyone the greatest battle ever, mate. We're gonna set the whole world on fire. Jesus. So go get yourself checked in. Dude. Might destroy the stadium, yeah, but we're not gonna set the whole thing on fire. Yes, all my thank you and all my friends. Autographs for everybody afterwards. Challenger Professor Joel, we've been waiting for you. Since you won your way through the semifinals, you must face off against the gym leaders in the finals. They won't be holding back. Oh, you're falling asleep. Good night, banana. Whoever makes it through this final bracket will be will win the right to challenge the champion. So, are you ready to the locker room, are you? Yeah, let's go. Okay, I'll show you the way. Hey, look at everybody here. Ah, oh, of course, Bay's off with the punching bag. Man, look at all these cool people in this room. Hey, Pierce. I say I'm gonna win this thing. 
and I'll do it without Dynamax and to help everyone in Spike Mountain proclaim their pride and see the smile on their face. Hey, long time. Hey, long time to see. Battle you facing the gym challenge. Those were basically test matches, but this is a serious battle. Yeah, I'll see you on the battlefield, Nessa. Hey, Rahan. Hey, I'm gonna win this thing for every round, and I'll be the one taking on Leon. If I don't do it, then I'll have to replay Duran and the rest of my party for all their hard work. Or I'll fail to. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, Milo, my boy. My first rash against Rahan of all people. What rotten luck. But, but even if he changes the weather around, I don't plan on throwing the towel so easily. Ah, come on, you have some durable wolves. Gordy, I'll be bringing my matches to an end in a heartbeat, you see? No one who sees them will ever forget me. Yeah, man, you're fashionable. Hey, old man, Kuba Kabu. I almost forgot his name there. I always press on and challenge myself so I can go as a Pokemon trainer for as long as possible. As long as you continue to push yourself, your brilliance will never fade. And Bay for last. Hey, Bay. I got a curious feeling. My heart is racing. But for a bit, I just can't wait for the match. Again. Sorry, blah. Okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna lead the way. We'll be heading on the pitch. The opening will starting soon. Yep, yeah, let's go, let's go. Okay, then go on in. All right, thank you. It goes without saying, but hello, Garlar, I'm the champion. The chairman's tied up with some business, so I have no hopes in mind, but oh, that's really fast. All these Pokemon trainers are great in the Galar region. Time has come for you to battle until the only the greatest challenger remains. Now, on behalf of the chairman, allow me to say that the final matches begin. That was a really quick spiel there. Who's my first challenger? Wait, you? Oh, nice. Audience, who's that? A moment, if you may. Does anyone here remember me? I am Bay. The challenger was forced to withdraw from the gym challenge. Bay! He's the challenger endured by the champion who rose himself. Yeah, I have to score to settle Professor Joel here. I'm aware that this is against the rules, but I must ask nonetheless. Let me battle him. I'll stake my career as a challenger on this battle. If I lose, I'll retire from being a trainer. Wow, I'm about to end this, whole, this man's whole career. What an unexpected turn of events. Former Challenger Bay has come forth for one last battle. We're currently debating what to do with Challenger Bay. To all our viewers, both here in the stadium, at home, and in front of the telly, we ask you to please be patient. I know this is ridiculous to me, but... I have to say something, do something. Ever since you showed me up, everything I've done has gone wrong. But Orlino is the one who asked me to gather wishing stars for the chairman, but then the chairman himself disowned me. And by the strange old lady comes out of nowhere and drags me into the boot camp on the fairy type Pokemon. If you have any idea what I've been through, covered in pink, dealing with quizzes and battles, with fairy Pokemon every day, and here I am pouring my heart out in front of you, Whenever I lost, I never lost my cool before. And I've reached a decision. Sorry, come there. And we have reached a decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the chairman himself has accepted Bay's sudden interruption. The champion showing his love by giving every trainer a chance to grow stronger. Or is it a trial for Professor Joel? I will see. My will hasn't been broken yet. Well... It's going to be pretty bad. You're challenged by Jim Leader Bay. And he sends out a mo- wow! And we got Mean Kitty. So I'm thinking he has a bunch of fairy Pokemon, so Mean Kitty's just going to steamroll for this. We face too much now to quit. No turning back now. Ooh, there goes our attacks out a bit. Do we have any home? No, we don't. We're just gonna headbutt you. 
Boom. Crush. That does nothing. Your teeth are strong, but I have an iron steel wool beard. It's gonna get all in your teeth. Hurt your teeth, though. Okay, the wild is faded and unable to battle. There you go. Look at this nice scenery in the background. It's all full of you, babe. And here comes the Garden War. Would you like to switch your Pokemon now? We're just gonna steamroll through it with Green Kitty here. There you go. Nice feelings, Pokemon, but. It's definitely going to feel this. Calm mind? Ooh. This could be such a heavy blow. Okay. Special attack rose. Special defense rose. We're going to Iron Head. And with our tough claws ability that does contact, that's like a double damage move right there. Gardevoir is painted and is unable to battle. Okay. Bodrick is going to go up a level. That's just nice. Okay. Oh, here comes the Rabidac. Do you like to switch your Pokemon? No, nope. we're just gonna keep going through this one with a mean kitty. We're just gonna use one Pokemon to wipe out the entire team. Still kinda mad at Bed Bedhead here. Body is still a jerk. We're gonna iron head everything. Headbutt you. I'm gonna headbutt you. I'm gonna headbutt you. Also one more, I'm gonna headbutt you. I assume you can get four Pokemon there. I'm gonna headbutt you. And then gone. There you go. My little pony's been knocked out and he's unable to battle. See a brony? It's okay to you. Okay, he's gonna send out a Hatrietta. Would you like to switch Pokemon? Nah. What's this calm expression? You think you're gonna win? Yeah, I know I'm gonna win. You, you think you sound great, but you weren't that great. I hope you have a good retirement plan, because it's gonna get real boring if you're not a Pokemon trainer afterwards. I mean, you still might be the gym leader, you know, by all means, become a gym leader. Good line of work. Well, here we'll show you what great and pink is. Oh, stop. And a good place to segue. Hey, come check out our Discord. We have a little gym leader chat. Uh, links in the description down below. Oh, look at the steam tower. Yeah. We get all caught up in that our steel wool in their hair there. We have a hard time. Ooh, Max Flair incoming. Holding this out. Wow. Okay, it looks like I'm not going to sweep the green kitty. Oh, I know. I know. I know it's the perfect solution for this. You know what's hard to get out of your hair? Sa oh, sand. There you go. We're going to sneeze some sand on her. We're a big boss. Yeah, you're not the only one who got a big Pokemon. There you go, a big twisted new. Big boss, let's go. Sneeze some sand into that hair. That's going to damage your hair and your roots. Hey, okay. Arietta is now on fire. Ooh, nice. Pokemon's gonna need a lot of oils and things to fix up that hair condition. There you go, get some XP. Big boss, and we've got a lot of XP on that one. Okay. Big boss, come back. Who's the good news? You're gonna get an extra rat too. Yeah. I couldn't win, but at least I was able to show everyone how great fairy Pokemon types are. That's good, at least you're supporting your own, that's good. Well, I lost. And it looks like Chairman Bay, sorry, Challenger Bay, yeah, wrong person. And it looks like Challenger Bay was no match for Challenger Professor Joel and his trusted team. Hey Bay, that was a nice match. Thank you. No, just retire, just restart your career! But this isn't what I planned. If I was able to defeat you, then everything would have been fine. But if I lost, I was going to use the retiring as an excuse to get away from that old lady. <laughs> you just keep messing up my plans, don't you? With everyone cheering me on like this, I have no choice but to continue my training as the fairy-type gym leader. 
and I suppose, with my talents, I'll be able to take over, take over this Opa in no time. The stadium is... Yeah, it's a collapse there. The stadium is filled with the voices of cheering fans for these two young trainers. Now, challenge Compressor Joel, please head back to the locker room so you can rest up and that from that unexpected match. Then. Who was I supposed to fight? Rather surprising for Challenger Bay to barge in like that. In any case, once you're ready, please head back onto the pitch for your final battle to begin. I'm gonna do a little lap around here. Yeah, I'll just go back out. The time you've been waiting for is now over. The finals of the Champion Cup are about to begin. Two, two trainers that are facing each other for the first time in battle, or the first round are, trainer endorsed by the champion himself, Professor Joel, and his opponent, Raging Wave, the master of water types, Nessa. Yay, we get to go for a Nessa round 2.0. I can tell you ground, you've grown far stronger since the first time we met in Hallberry City. I gotta hand it to you, the undefeated champion. He's got a proper rivalry for talent too. But you're not the champion, and you'll never become the champion either. Do you know why? It's because I, Nessa, I'm gonna defeat both you and Leon. I'm not going to underestimate you this time. I'll use Dynamax to wash your Pokemon out to the sea and beyond the horizon. Yeah? Okay, you think so? Man, my nose feels a little bit itchy. Oh, Nessa, there we go. We're challenged by Gym Leader Nessa. A rematch. Nessa set up Glycopod. That's cool, but that thing's a bit of a power. I know Glycopod. They fight dirty. Sonya might be disappointed, but I'm going to wash your team away. Yeah, well, you think so. I think I'm going to stand right here. Also, we're going to Fury Swipes and hit this barrage of attacks. And we're gonna miss. Get hit by liquidation instead. Right, we're melting. We don't want to melt. Theory swipes. Ooh, that's not doing a heck of a lot of damage. And only two, two times. Ooh, a sword dance becomes a little bit stronger. Okay, Glyce Box attack sharply rose. Yikes. Let's see what Iron Head does. I imagine we'll get a little bit of the same type of attack on it. Man, this thing's bulky. Liquidation yet again. And Mean Kitty has taken a bath. Not supposed to watch Mean Kitty. I mean, we have cars. Yeah, I feel like we should see a cars out there. That way we'll just sweep through this nice and quick. Hey, that's some nice armor you have there. It'd be a shame if somebody hit it with a wood hammer. But what? Knock that out. Stuff. No time for that emergency exit. I mean, that's one way to exit an emergency, I guess. Great goes up a level. So does Big Boss. This will go to send her a Sea King. Sea King! Yeah, Sea King. Now we're gonna keep cars in there. Come on, Pillar Man! I'll we'll take down this helicopter and Sea King. We gonna poke it with his teeth. It lives! And he's gonna poke us with a stick too! A horn, per se. It's also super effective. Well, we'll go for one more stick poking you. A full restore? Uh... If I only would have known, I could have went for a different mood, that would have been a little bit more effective. Drum beating. Oh, drum solo. There you go. Sea King is down for the count.
That's about to send out a Pelipper. Would you like to switch your Pokemon? I mean, I could, but why would I? I really would like to, but I I know that most of my Pokemon will not be able to do anything, it seems. Oh. But the rain's down in Africa. Woodhammer, let's just knock this thing out nice and hard. There you go, that birdie's going down. Have to go restock. Yes, we're about to send out a Duraskuda. Would you like to switch your Pokemon? You know what? Yeah, I'll we'll switch to this one. Uh, let's get... Let's get Alcard out. We haven't seen Alcard in a little while. Come back, cars. We're going to be having Alcard come out. Grim himself. That thing looks terrifying. We actually have this up here in Northern Canada in a sense. I don't want to do that, I just want to spear break it. Hit the liquidation and get our hair all wet. We're going to spear break and knock it. Now, if we have a sucker punch, that'd probably be best. And yes, we do have access to Sucker Punch. Take it to the falling punch. There, Scooter has sunk. And Card's gone, that's a level nice. Alcard wants to move, learn to move, Dow Play. Uh, let's see what Dow Play entitles. The user turns his tar uh, the target's power against it. The higher the target's attack set, the greater the damage deal. Interesting. Nasty plot, pretty sick, false surrender is nice. Sucker Punch is also nice. I don't really use Nasty plot, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. Probably could use some other move, but you know. We just use that instead, get rid of that. Nope, now we know how to use foul play. Very sneaky. This is about to send out her dreadnought. It looks like I'm down to one last Pokemon, and I'm saving the very best for last. Here comes the Dreadnought. Is that bit of music going there? Yeah. Oh, oh. Ooh, it's a different one. There you go, we use uh, our Spirit Punch. Spirit Fingos! Blood the Stadium Dreadnought. Look at the thing, look out! Show what you've got! Dang, he's thick! He's bigger than the board, Jesus. Max Rock Ball. So it kicks up. Now card has painted. Uh you know what? Grief. Grief should be able to withstand quite a bit. So, let's see if we can't beat this Pokemon with Grief. We're gonna use Whirlpool. And use Max Darkness. Oh, that actually does a solid chunk of damage. Surprise. Cool. We'll pull him and hit it. Trap it in for a couple of turns. we will both buffed by the sandstorm. Strength set. Max Darkness is coming. No! Wow! You broke my coral reef! Fine, we're gonna get big boss out here then. There you go, boss. Show them what you got. Aw, uh, you're not so big now. There you go, we're gonna change these tables a bit. Come on, big nuke! 
I love my big nick. Go big box. and gets a little bit of XP. And we defeated Nessa. Good stuff. Ah, getting that sand in here. You had no problem handling our, our surgery might. There's no wonder that you won. Good stuff. Nope, stop it. You're not allowed to evolve. Stop it. And the winner is Professor Joel! Yes! Yeah, it's good. Yeah! Ooh, ooh, this one goes out for all the kittens out there banana and popsicles and whatnot. And uh, the ones that are all here a lot of the time. Just kidding. Uh, let's see. He defeated Nessa in the Gym Challenger during the Gym Challenge and now he pulled it off yet again. Yeah, you know, well, I mean, I already beat her once. It's not like I'm, it's going to be too hard to beat her a second time. You and your Pokemon are just too much. Even my Dynax partner, you weathered our waves and stood firm. Yeah, I got a lot of like, bulky ground types. Now that I think about it, Sonya was saying something about how amazing you were. I wish I paid more attention to what she was talking about. I bet everyone in the Galar region's got their eyes on you now. You defeated my team, so now you got to ride that current all the way to the end. Now, don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. The second battle of the first round will begin shortly. Oh, cool, we get like a little... And here are the results for the first round. Professor Joel beat Nessa. Bay beat Gordy. Piers beat Kabu, which, huh. A little surprised about that. And Rahan definitely beat Milo. Whew, those are some crazy looking battles there. I think that's where I'll call it this time now, guys. Thanks for tuning into the stream there. My name is Professor Joel, and uh, thanks for watching. Also, a little shout out to the Discord links in the description there. We have ourselves a little gym challenge uh, battle thing, which we, we deputized a bunch of our players as gym leaders. If you're interested in coming and battling and getting some gym badges, we may have some custom gym badges made. Come check that out. Uh, we can battle, trade, do some breeding, all types of cool Pokemon stuff. Also, playing card games. They do the TCG online, and yeah, various other Pokemon stuff related. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz, and I'll catch you all next time.